The MSU Science Festival is in full swing and I'm with Dr. Shannon Schmoll and we have this exciting exhibit here, kind of newer to the planetarium. Talk to me a little bit about it. Yeah, so this is our brand new uh, meteorite exhibit. We just opened it in December and uh, we've been uh, really excited to bring pieces of the solar system to Earth. Uh, we've got uh, pieces from all the 11 named Michigan meteorites. We have special ones from all over the world. Uh, we also have pieces of the Moon, Mars, and Vesta that you can come and touch. Okay, and I have my little, uh, what is this called? Magnifier? Magnifying glass. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say telescope. I was like, that's the wrong <laughs> word. And you can kind of use one of these to check these out. And this one kind of has a fun story. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this guy. Yeah, so this is the latest named Michigan meteorite. It's Edmore. Um, all me uh, meteorites are named after the closest post office they were found at. And this one was used as a barn doorstop for 50 years before it was classified as a, meteor as a meteorite. And so you can come check out the whole thing as well as a smaller piece in our exhibit. Makes a good doorstop, but they probably mm -hmm. had no idea that that's what they were using. Yeah, they were told it was a meteorite for a while, but okay. they didn't get it classified until the 2018 fall of the Hamburg meteorite. How fun is that? All right, talk to me about what you have in there. And then also these yeah. doors kind of have something special in them too. Yeah, so these are other pieces from our collection that come all over the world. So we do have uh, a big chunk from Reed City here in Michigan, but we also have pieces from um, like Henbury is found, was found in Australia. We have Allende from Mexico, among others. And these represent a wide variety of the types of meteorites that you can find. And then each one of these drawers answers a common question we get okay. about uh, about meteorites. So is the sky falling is about meteor showers okay. um, and how to find micro meteorites in your oh, own backyard. Look at those. Yeah. Use my um, magnifying glass on that one. What is yours? Yeah. Um, we've got, uh, how do we know meteorites are from space? That's a okay. really common question. So oh. we talk about all the different features and the chemical makeup of meteorites and you can come check out all of these different pieces and look at them up close. And Shannon, this exhibit's fun because it's interactive. You get to pull mm -hmm. out the drawers, you can kind of play a game, and then also you can touch some as well. Yeah, yeah, you can touch a, a lunar meteorite, a Martian meteorite, and a Vestin. So we know exactly where these came from. Uh, so we've got uh, it, a lunar meteorite is something that got knocked off the moon and then fell down. This isn't one that came back with the astronauts. We're not allowed to own those. Uh, but you can uh, check out meteorites that we know came from the moon, we know came from Mars, and we know came from the asteroid Vesta. And that's so cool to say that you mm -hmm. were able to touch one. How yeah. fun is that? I love you don't that. get to touch the moon every day. And Shannon, how is the planetarium participating in the MSU Science Festival? Well, we've got uh, two free showings during the statewide astronomy night on April 8th of The Last Question, which is a short, short story from Isaac Asimov plus the Star Talk. So we are asking that people sign up for that in advance uh, on the Science Festival website. We'll also be helping out with the MSU Observatory's uh, night, uh, which will include activities down at the observatory, observing weather permitting uh, from 7 to 10 p.m. And lots of exciting stuff going mm -hmm. on this mm -hmm. month till the 30th. Where can mm -hmm. people get more information if they kind of want like a lineup of events? Um, you can head over to the Science Festival um, website, which is sciencefestival.msu.edu. All right, Dr. Shannon Schmoll, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you. All right, stick around. Studio 10 continues after this.